So I'm reviewing some of the Pioneer fishing gear that we've been using through our series. Now Pioneer, if you're not familiar with it, has been uh, a brand that's uh, been around since 1997, it's 25 years, it's based out of Singapore and sold throughout the world. Now if there was one spin reel that I was allowed to grab, my house was burning down, etc, it would be this little unit here. This is a great flagship spin reel for the brand. It is the Rexo part of the Rexo range. This one sits right in the middle, the RX4000, boasting five and a half kilos of drag. And I have put this reel through its absolute paces. Oh, it just got eaten. It just got eaten? It just grew. <laughs> it just grew. <laughs> it is super well engineered. I think it's got eight ball bearings through it, and it boasts a spinning ratio of about 5.9 to one. So you're really cranking the line in when you need to. It's a lovely little ergonomic handle with uh, a nice sort of ball handle on the end which is really easy to grab and wind but as we all know with these units it's the drag how smooth is the drag and i got to thoroughly test this in australia on the sunshine coast accidentally hooked up to uh, a fish that was many 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 times the weight of the line that i was using to wind it in i think i had a 20 pound leader on this and i was hooked up to a cobia which is a top saltwater sport fish in uh, Australia and other parts of the world and uh, I fought it using this reel for the better part of an hour and a half and it was absolutely maxed out just 20 pound leader and the fish was going on huge big runs the sun was starting to go down it was uh, a battle right to the end but we got it Talk to me. Ready? Next. That is unbelievable. Oh god, I've got a rush of blood to their head. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, I can't believe we've landed it. We think that the fish was probably close to a national record. It was well over 40 kilos and uh, all done on a reel this big. So when someone tells you that you can't catch big fish on small stuff, no, that's absolutely not the truth. If you've got patience, and a nice smooth drag, and the fish doesn't go and wrap itself around something, you can uh, you can achieve that. And so I had this through the series, teamed up with like the Microlist rod, with the Lure Pro rod, all from Pioneer, and uh, it performed every single time. This one here, the Rexo RX 4000.